Hi, welcome to part three of using contour lines to communicate form. So today um, we're going to do the third drawing uh, of the series of uh, chameleon um, bread mixers. Um, this is my third um, attempt at a, um, at a concept. So I'm going to use my pen to start off with. Uh, and what I'm really interested in this drawing is to try and recreate the form of the body of this chameleon. So you'll notice that there there's these sort of um, these lines which go, which come up and over the spine, and they create sort of a, um, as you can see here, a, a very sharp edge, I guess, at the top. So I'm going to try and recreate that. So um, as I'm starting here, I'm really just creating a two-dimensional just form, sort of like a big blob. And uh, here's the tail, which I've kind of imagined as being where the uh, the cord of the uh, or the bread mixer would. Um, would happen. So I'm creating this head now and again you know it's really just two-dimensional. Um, I'm kind of imagining how it might be as a three-dimensional idea. I came up with this idea since I like these uh, chameleon eyes so much to making it much bigger uh, and maybe it might not be so, so much functional but more aesthetic in this sort of uh, idea. So here we go so we've got the two-dimensional kind of shape sorted out and now I'm going to create my contour lines. So the head has these sort of more angular um, contour lines which sort of suggest these sort of facets to the head. Uh, and they come around the nose here as well. And now I'm going to just kind of create that ridge of the front of the head. And the eye, sort of a, kind of more, more of a jokey kind of idea I guess. Um, and you'll notice here I'm making a slight mistake here just kind of working out how these contour lines are going to curve. And you'll see later on when I do the outline, they actually curve down rather than uh, as I first thought um, up. And so you know you'll have to work at work these things out as you go along. You know, it doesn't um, it doesn't necessarily always happen first first go. Right. So here here I'm going to try and create this sort of spine thing happening along the top. So you notice there's like a little kind of indentation here along the body. And so I'm creating three. You probably didn't need to do that quite that many. Um, I guess I'm sort of uh, taking my cue from the chameleon who where this the ribs are kind of showing. All right, so now I'm creating a handle, uh, and so now it's, it's sort of now coming out of the head um, to maybe mimic the um, the horns that some of the chameleons have. But in this case, it's angling backwards, I guess. So you can see here contours. Um, that I've created on the um, on the handle as well, and now I'm starting to use my um, extra fine sharpie to create some outlining. First of all, um, to really define the shape of this um, of this object, and then kind of lining in the contours, really getting clear about exactly where they are. All right, and then continue on to the head. You'll notice that the um, the eyes are now no longer quite so um, so bulbous or coming, and they don't quite come out of the surface as much. Um, and that's just, a, I guess, a design decision. But you can see how the contours really tell me how far out they come, how far out they protrude out of the um, out of the head part of the um, of the object. All right, so coming around here, some, some more outlines, and now really defining those contours a little bit more, doing a little bit of separating those eyes out of the the head to really um, make sure that we can see that they're completely separate objects. And then the handle, uh, in this case, is much more simple, just a very um, curved and uh, rounded shape for the handle. Um, what you'll see coming up here is using a mistake to your advantage. So I'm starting here to create the, um, the two legs for the mixer and uh, you'll notice that the first, the second one um, is a little bit too far over to the left. I'm creating another line here to create that as my, um, as my leg. And I'm going to use that extra line to 
create a little box to create to create a little backdrop. Uh, just a little kind of trick to use your mistakes to your advantage, I guess. Um, right, so that's just about it. Um, just doing the final little touches here, adding a little bit of um, light and dark, um, just shading in these areas. Notice that I'm using quite a I'm not using too much shading as such, I'm just using, creating black areas and white areas. Um, you want to be quite um, bold in your shading of your uh, product designs uh, as opposed to perhaps some architectural um, work where you might use a little bit more f um, finesse, I guess. Um, so that's just about it. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed these three videos. Uh, I'll be making some more of them uh, about different topics uh, in terms of drawing and uh, and design. Um, that's it. The end.